Bonjour, mes amis. Uh, je m'appelle Octavion. Et uh, aujourd'hui, uh, okay, no, I'm not even gonna go all the way into it with the French, you know, you know, bilingual. No. But, um, <laughs> um, welcome back, everybody. My name is Octavion. And today, uh, we are talking about how to get internships, right? Uh, internships are these, in case you do not know, there are these opportunities where you get to uh, work uh, with a certain company or organization uh, for a certain allotted uh, time period and uh, you basically just get experience on the job. Usually it's unpaid, but you do have some uh, internships that are paid and um, those are great. And um, basically yeah, you are allowed to work uh, inside the job description that you may be interested in, inside a career path that you may be interested in, and get experience, and then also network, and then figure out um, if that actually is what you want to do. So, like, all of those are great um, factors, and a big reason why I promote internships. And this video is going to describe how to get them um, based off my experiences. So, um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the video, or to the channel. And make sure to like the video um and yeah uh let's get into it so uh for internships for me i've had one two i've had two internships throughout college um and both of them the way i achieved them uh and was able to get them was first through research so um, first, you actually have to, well, before research, you have to have a plan. So your plan is like your desired career path, what you're interested in, um, what you're trying to go to school for, basically. Um, so if you have like a specific interest that uh, that you really are feeling, like you really feel passionate about it, then that's the thing that you probably go get your internship in. Um, if it's something that's just like a hobby, I wouldn't recommend doing an internship. An uh, internship is mainly to get experience in something that you want to do as a career. So... Um, I would recommend like doing that, um, doing an internship because it's like a lot of time and like you can spend that amount of time doing something else that actually will help you further yourself um, to get in your career. So yeah, that's why I recommend getting an internship in something that uh, will help you move forward in your career. But yeah, so uh, a lot of um, that we're doing research um, on something that is going to help you uh, move forward in your career. Um, looking up different kind of programs and internships that are available. So probably uh, you could either A, um, I would say you could either look up specific companies that you want an internship for. Um, so look up like uh, if you want to do a, um, a computer uh, science, like engineering kind of um, kind of internship. You would look up like the companies that you're interested in. So maybe Amazon, Google, Apple, whatever look them up and see if they have any internship programs in those specific fields and see um, what their deadlines are, what the, what the requirements are, whether you need like a letter of recommendation or something along those lines and have the, and try to organize that list of things that you need and then the internships that you want to apply for and try to gather everything so then you can apply by those deadlines. Um, or you can do B where you just have the idea of what internship you're looking for. So if you are interested in a, um, a yeah, computer science engineering uh, uh, internship, then you can just Google computer science uh, engineering internships. And then a whole bunch of companies that will have opportunities um, linked already on there or websites that kind of show a long list of internships that are available will pop up and you can just filter through those and see which ones you are interested in from that standpoint. So um, either way, you can do it. Um, I think... B is more time consuming if you don't really have a specific aim of like where you want to apply to, but it also can be very rewarding because you can find something that you didn't know um, about or, and, and uh, yeah, you can find something that you didn't know about and you can also uh, find internships um, that have like maybe like uh, lesser requirements or something like that. So, or maybe they fit the specific niche that you're trying to find. So um, that maybe the other like main companies that you're interested in don't fit. So like it's always good to do. Um, you can do a little bit of both. You can um, you can intermix so you can have a set list of ones companies that you're gonna apply to, and then also look at others um, as well. So uh, whatever you choose to do, um, both of them are good options. Um, that's what I did uh, for me. I I looked up different kinds of internships um, and the forensics category and like with the different police departments to see. Um, 
what they had available uh, and then be able to apply to those and see how those programs worked. Um, oh, another step that I recommend after doing research and um, a research on the actual internships is to uh, like, yeah, gather all the information that you need um, for applying to the internships and kind of like make sure, like kind of organize it basically. Organize your uh, process because when you apply to multiple different kinds of internships, it can get kind of confusing when you have um, like different deadlines and different requirements and everything. So, uh, and then you may be doing interviews for them. So uh, you may have different dates that you have to keep track of and when they will give you a response by. So try to make sure that that is fully organized and um, make sure that you can have like a notebook um, where you keep track of them or use the notes app on your phone um, or something along those lines where you can just basically keep track of everything that's going on because internships are, uh, it's, a, it's a very new experience and new process to a lot of people just because they either, um, they never like, this is like the first, this can be their first experience inside the, uh, the real world, I guess, like inside the adult realm. So like, it's it can be very confusing to navigate, but yeah, having a, the best step to get th through it is to like yeah organize yourself and make sure that like everything's um, together so you're able to achieve um, good success. Um, another step, or I guess a big thing for internships is making sure that you have um, something to offer the company so um commonly like if it's a it's usually easier to get unpaid internship because like since they're not paying you it's like free labor like volunteer work kind of thing so like they're offering you so it's kind of like a it's like, like that interchange relationship so they're offering you um networking experience um that kind of thing and then you're offering them free labor so that's how that kind of works but then for paid ones they uh, tend to they tend to look f more out of you. They tend to expect more if they're paying you money to do a certain job. They tend to expect you to have maybe like higher GPA or more involvement um, or more experience, previous experience with this kind of role or something like that. So um, when you do apply and look for certain ones, make sure that you uh, are kind of like meeting make sure you're like meeting the qualifications and if you aren't um when you do maybe your first original internship um and you maybe you apply to somewhere that's like not as like intense as far as requirements then make sure to emphasize that experience when you apply to another one um that you had this experience like prior experience and everything because like when you have multiple experiences prior and then you do another internship it uh it definitely like boost your uh your kind of their standing and like other uh places that you may be trying to enter in at they'll see you as a higher commodity and a better value because you have more experience or you have more knowledge on the topic at hand so um definitely helping having yourself stand out is is a big component in getting internships and that's why the the next thing is you got to kill the interview that that's the that is probably the most important thing um, is you have to kill the interview because like most of the, most of the stuff originally is like simple, just like read through the list, like the, the recruiters and like the hiring, um, managers and everything like they're looking through all these internship applications. They're like, okay, okay, okay. Like all these people have these certain like qualifications that we want, whatever. And that stuff is like, it's, it's not personable. It's, uh, it's just like piece of paper, just you have these base requirements, cool. Then the, how they separate you is they're going to interview. They're going to see you face-to-face -face or Zoom, on Zoom or whatever, WebEx, whatever um, software they use. And they're going to really try to get your personality. So they're going to ask you maybe questions about your experiences, um, try to get like, um, try to ask you the general questions about like how you are 
are as like a worker, um, how's your team work skills, um, name a time, like a common question I always get asked is like, name a time that you were like challenged with something, how you deal with pressure or um, time constraints or something like that. Like those kinds of questions, they're gonna ask you that. So make sure to be prepared, have kind of answers, um, how you prepared and like, I can do a video about questions that are common, commonly asked on internships. Um, because like, like I said, I've been, I've had multiple different job interviews and um, like internship interviews and like research interviews and stuff like that. So like, I there's there's a commonality in the questions that they ask you and it's like a trend. So uh, it's it's very easy to um, start to like, kind of like notice the pattern and then be able to articulate great responses um, that they will uh, listen to them and be like, oh, wow, they're, they're knowledgeable or that's, that's exactly what I wanted to hear, like the desired response or the response that's correct for their, uh, their position, for the, for the position that they're trying to, uh, hire you for. So like I can do a video for that too. If you all are interested, um, you can make, like, make a comment down below if that is of interest, but yeah, acing the interview is hundred percent the biggest step. If you, um, if you get to that point because that's how they separate people and like if you can come in and knock that interview out by answering the questions uh fully um with, with like a smile on your face with the, like that good energy um personality like that is um uh, that's a huge huge marker to them that they're like okay we we this this person this person goes in this pile this they're they're over here in the in the yes so like it, it helps you get to like the final round and everything so i definitely recommend um trying to like ace the interview dress dress well that's another big factor dress dress to impress um on the interview uh if they don't already give you a uh a dress requirement like make sure to like do something like business casual is usually um the common um thing for interviews is business casual um and then yeah just answer the questions fully and um yeah like that's that's pretty much it to be honest for internships is like it's like you do your research you uh you go out you get organized on like what you um on all your applications and everything um you start hearing back from them and uh and once you hear back you start um you gotta do your interviews you're gonna ace the interview pretty much and then that's kind of kind of it and then from there uh, after you do the interview, that's it's kind of out of your hands because then at that point it's going to be like okay now they're now they're the ones deciding whether they want you or not and that and you can't really do anything else and like I know standing out is is probably the biggest thing like once you once you do that and like you you give it your all in that sense in the interview and on your application and that's it and if they want you they want you and you get the internship so um, yeah that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's is it's pretty simple like that but um yeah thank you all for watching the video um like i said uh subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of videos uh like and comment down below um if you want to see the video about the interview questions um and yeah yeah i'll, I'll catch y'all later peace